Hi everyone, this is Nancy and our treasure home. Welcome back to our channel. Today's lunch. Well, I'm kind of in the midst of doing a bunch of things at one time, you know how that goes. So, I was, I've got cabbage over there in the sink. Let's see if I can, there we go. Right over there. That big, huge cabbage I'm cutting up. Um, I'm making something special for myself tonight for dinner. I will do a video on that. Um, but I'm going to make some fresh sauerkraut. Because I just found out that peppers, cayenne peppers, hot peppers, red pepper flakes and all, flares up inflammation. Yeah. Yeah. So... My last one I had with pepper flakes and which tasted awesome. It was really good. I just can't have it. Well, not right now. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to make some fresh sauerkraut. Because I love sauerkraut. And then um, I'm making something special for dinner. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I have... <laughs> my granddaughter y'all know Anastasia she's upstairs and playing right now when I was down here you know, she had, had lunch she had many sausages and corn she loves that she saw the cabbage she goes can I have <laughs> some cabbage I'm like sure she goes are there any radishes left I'm like yes she goes, where are they? Sorry, my back is hurting today. Um, I said, they're in the fridge, in the drawer, you know, wrapped in a little foil. She got them out. Now, this girl, she is just, I won't say she's picky, but she likes things a certain way. She loves radishes. She just don't like the peels. So, I peel them for her. So, I guess the peel is... Uh, the skin is what's hot, and she doesn't want to eat the skin. So I took that, and I made me some lunch with it. And this is what I did. What I have, I took some cabbage, and I took those peels of the radishes, and I just sauteed them, cooked them, fried them up, however you want to say it. And that's what I did here. Here, I had a picture. I will try to insert a picture. I will try. I'm still learning how to do this stuff. Um, this is butternut squash. And what I did, I cooked it in the cast iron. All I did was take it out of the jars. So I had canned some over the summer. See how I put the jars in here. I messed them out. But, well, you can see they were in this right here. My butternut squash. Didn't feel like messing another pan. So I just cooked it. Put them in here. Squash, you know, mashed them up. Just simmered it down to where most of the juices, the water is gone. I, of course, I drained some. And then I added brown sugar to it. So, I was like, oh, that sounds like a good lunch. I got my spoon right here. Oh, yeah. That's definitely good. And it still has a taste of cabbage <laughs> A little hot. Hmm. That is perfect. A little salt, a little pepper, but I put that brown sugar in there. Yeah, no. And it tastes wonderful. So that is lunch today. Cabbage with radish peels or skins and butternut squash. I know, I'm always looking. Because you know when you sit there and you focus this way, then all of a sudden your side view vision catches all kinds of things. Without you even realizing. And then all of a sudden you're looking this way, you're looking that way, and everybody's like, what are you looking at? Just 
stuff. I was like, here's the window. There's the window. So every time a car goes by, it catches my attention. And it's like, you know, that's not good. <laughs> when you're trying to be doing a video and something just else just catches, the, you know, your peripheral vision. So how far can your peripheral vision see? Now, see, I can see because I'm on the camera, but actually I can see my finger back here. So I always test myself. It's good to see how your peripheral vision, how far back it can go. You just catch little things. <laughs> if you haven't liked, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. See you next time I upload a video. And we'll see you next time on Our Treasure Home.